We all know Minnesota summers are short and this morning we are focusing on ways to help keep our mind and body fit no matter what. Here to tell us more, our friend Connie Sheehan. She's Push Fitness founder and certified trainer as well as Marika Schneider. She's a put Push Fitness Studio Manager and Certified Yoga Instructor. Welcome back to both of you ladies. Thank you so much, Adrian. Good to be here. Yeah, you know, this weekend, downright chilly. Yes. We're ready for summer. Absolutely. But we've got a string of seven day coming up where it's going to be warmer. Mm -hmm. But you're talking stress with summer? And it's interesting, Adrian, that with summer, our cortisone levels, our stress levels actually increase. And I believe it's because our summers are packed. We're trying to get every day to count, right? Because yeah. we have so very few of them in Minnesota. That's right, we want to be outside as yes. much as possible. If we could do the show outside all day, every day, we would. Yes. <laughs> and you've been doing some research and you found some information in a recent study that talks about this. Yeah, yeah. So I guess the, the big thing that we found is that the cortisol levels go up. And so what can we do to kind of counteract that? And I rely on the three R's rehydrate, drink lots of water, mm. almost to the point where you feel like it's almost excessive, get your rest, real rest, Not, no screen time, turn <laughs> off the TV, turn off your phone, really, really rest, and then repeat, do it again. Get that body ready for the next days of activity. And what else can we do beyond resting and relaxing? It looks like you guys have some nice, fun games here. Even yes. a childhood game. Yes. My goal is for you to be a kid again, to okay. have fun, to be a kid again. So um, some of the things that we thought we'd show you today is, you know, you'll be at barbecues, you'll be at graduation parties, and there are different games that will be around. And here are some things that you can do. Okay. You're familiar with the twister game. Yes. That I am. Yes. So instead of doing the typical right hand red, left hand green, why don't you just practice your balance. So put your foot on your yellow circle and practice your balance. Do a little tree pose. You can actually try hopping from circle to circle. Uh oh. Yes, okay. there you go. So nice and easy. Heart rate up, but also not like, lots of fun. Okay, so right. we've got Twister. It looks like some baseballs and who A little soccer. Here? Little soccer. You know, this is the season where we have yes. our new soccer field and also lots of parents going to watch soccer games. Grab a soccer ball and just do what we call a little rainbow. So up over and then back and over your head, working your obliques, working the side muscles so that you can get a nice big stretch in. Nice way to yep. energize and kind of release some of that stress and tension. Thank you, exactly. Okay. And lastly is our little obstacle course. I'm a big fan of hula hoops. I like my hula hoops. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of using the hula hoop in the traditional way, why don't you just set it up where you can jump up through your hula hoops, grab a couple balls, baseballs if you have them, you can use them as weights, right? And just do a little bit of um, Very weight nice. resistance training. Very nice. Yes. I like this. I can use all of these in our backyard. I love it. Thank you both for being here. Of course, for a review of today's fitness tips or to learn more about Push Fitness, just head to care11.com. We'll post this segment and a link to their website on our 11 a.m. show page. That's on care11.com.